Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2008. Okay, so the question is consider the following C code that attempts to locate an element X in an array of Y using a binary search. Okay, so we are going to search for a particular element X using binary search. Okay, so the program is error on yes so basically there is some bug or error in the code guys so that now they are asking on which of the following condition the code will fail okay so this question seems to be a bit interesting right yes okay so the question is you are going to search for a particular element right yes so here they give four different cases so i think we need to run this code four times right okay so anyway let us go through some uh, different types of for options so don't go in a b c d order pick some different option okay yes so let us observe the options so there are total 10 elements and an x value okay yes so in option one we are having one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so they are saying the value should be less than 10 x value okay similarly one two three four and up to 19 so they are saying value should be x less than one okay is, is it a printing mistake or what guys okay similarly in y we are having all twos okay so i'm skeptical about this case guys and they are saying the searching value should be greater than two i'm 100 percent sure this might be wrong similarly two four six eight and we are searching for even number so basically this option seems to be perfect similarly this option seems to be perfect i'm having doubt with b and c guys guys i'm saying perfect means based on my appearances that's it okay yes so option b why i'm saying option b is a, a bit confusing is because they are saying the values are from 1 to 19 and they are saying x value should be less than 1 and we are searching for that x element only so obviously it will not be there in the array right yes similarly in case c everything is 2 and you are saying that x value should be greater than 2 so that is also a bit confusing for me so for our easy understanding so let us take c first guys because all the elements are same right so i think we can crack the code easily with that logic okay yes so let us start anyway right yes okay okay so initially the y value everything is 2 there is no issue and x is greater than 2 so assume that i am searching for 3 okay i should print x is not in the array as the output okay yes so let us start so initially the i value is 0 j value is 9 okay so now we are starting a do while loop okay so we are adding i plus j by 2 okay so i plus j by 2 so what will be the result guys that is nothing but 9 by 2 okay sorry 9 by 2 which is 4.5 so as it is int so the k value will be 4 right yes so now you are checking if y of k so if y of k that is nothing but y of 4 so anywhere it is 2 only so 2 less than x so is 2 less than 3 yes so then what we are doing is i is equal to k so in i i am substituting k value okay okay so i think uh, are we doing binary search guys if we are doing binary search this condition is absolutely wrong right okay so anyway let us continue no issue okay so we are substituting i equal to k okay yes so once it is done again you are coming into this while loop right yes so you are checking y of k that is a nothing but y of 4 is not equal to x that is not equal and i is less than j yes both are true so again you are running the loop i plus j by 2 so that is a nothing but i and j it is nothing but 9 plus 4 the result is a 13 so 13 by 2 is a 6.5 and answer will be 6 so now i am updating the k value to 6 okay so again i am comparing y of k is less than x okay so y of k that is a 2 2 is a less than 3 yes that's again true means again i am updating i equal to k okay so again i am getting 6 here okay yes nice okay so i got 6 there again i am going to check the condition that is nothing but y of y of k that is a y of 6 the value is a 2 2 is not equal to x that is a true and 6 is a less than 9 that is also true okay so again i am going to go into the loop again i am going to add these two that is a nothing but 9 plus 6 okay so 9 plus 6 is 15 so 15 by 2 is a 7.5 so i will be 7 sorry k will be 7 right yes so again this will be true again i am going to substitute this here right okay so again i am going to add these two so 9 plus 7 okay so 9 plus 7 is uh, 
16 right yes so again if i do average i will be getting 8 again i'll be substituting this 8 here similarly again 8 plus uh, 9 plus 8 it is uh, around 8.5 so now it will be 8 okay did i do any mistake so what is the result of 9 plus 8 guys it is a 17 right yes so 17 by 2 is 8.5 so again i'll be replacing this with 8 okay so i think did i do any mistake or is it working in that way only okay yes anyway so i'll be working with 8 right yes so i'll be comparing 8 with that okay so again i'll be replacing this with 8 and i'll be substituting this 8 here okay so again 9 plus 8 okay so i think there is a bug in this code guys so basically now i am struck at this location right okay did i do any silly mistake or it's working in that way only I think that's the issue. So basically option C will not be a possible case guys because it's going to go into infinite loop, right? Yes. So I think I that's the solution. So just to give me a second, I'll be cross checking the answer because I don't want to give the wrong information, right? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. So basically it is going into loop because of this particular condition guys because of this while loop okay yes so now you got an idea right so what we assumed is correct and if you want to check you can check a b and d also guys so for that cases also you can just cross check whether it is working perfectly or wrong okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question and luckily our example which we thought is correct guys so we assumed c could be wrong and the c is wrong okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.